Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Martins Bamedele, as, as you all know, and I'm going to be taking you on a very germane and important topic in music today called Rest and Beat Values. This is very important because if you know this in music, you've conquered almost 50% of music because all music in the world, they are written in Rest and Beat Values. And the very first one I'm going to talk about is the semi-brief. Semi-brief is the ball-like shape um, thing you see in music. It's ball-like, you can see it. It's ball-like. And what it connotes and represents is that a semi-brief is four beats. Whenever you say semi-brief, it means that this particular note that is placed on semi-brief, you should play it for four beats before you move to the next tone. That's what they're trying to tell you. Music literally is written in Italian and in signs. When we get to the next video, I will explain more to you. It's called performance direction. So let's just quickly go through this one. So this is semi-brief. Let me quickly explain it by playing it practically for you. Let's say I'm on a key of C major. If I have any music, let's say, I have this is C major. This is C major now. Let's say I see a semi brief. They put a semi brief here, and a semi brief here, and a semi brief here, and a semi brief here. On the next class, I'll be teaching on ledger lines. I don't want to mention men to that today. So let me quickly play these notes for you. This is C major. This is where C is located. You can see it. C major. So this is what it means, and I'm on C major. This is C major. This is major C. So if I want to play this couple of notes, this is how I'll play it. Because I know in my subconscious that semi-brief is four beats. So I have something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's, that's what I'll play because I just... What... The represented, which is a uh, semi brief, I just played it now because I observed that timing called semi brief. The first one was on C, the next on D, the, the following one on E, and the last one on F major. Let me play it again. From here, one, two, three, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Back to one, two, three, four. Beautiful. That's that's for today for the short lesson. I hope to see you in the next lesson so that we can discuss about musical stuff and ledger lines. We've talked about the stuff. Now let's talk about the ledger line. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so very much.